Hello everyone. My name is JJ and I'm a solutions engineer at Rivery Technologies. Today we're going to take a look at columns mapping within a data sourced target river. In step one, once you select your data source, uh, map your connection, select the report that you desire to extract, and pick the columns that you want to extract from that report. Then set your cloud data warehouse target your database, your schema, your table name, as well as the loading mode that you desire. Go to the Columns Mapping tab, and here you see you have multiple options when it comes to mapping your columns from the source to the target cloud data warehouse. The first option is to use Rivery's auto mapping feature to auto populate field names and data types uh, from the source into the target data warehouse. You can additionally manually change these field names by simply selecting the box and changing this field name to whatever that you like. Secondly, you can designate certain columns as primary keys by selecting or deselecting the key icon on the very left. You can also manually set the data type for this column uh, based on the data types that are available in your cloud data warehouse. Set whether the column is required or repeated, designate it as a uh, cluster key, or select a custom expression that will be used for this column, such as an aggregation or a sum or a simple mathematical operation if you desire. Thank you for tuning in, and we look forward to seeing how column mapping can help you with your data warehousing projects.